everyone! So today I'm in a little different spot than my normal video background. So if you guys could let me know down below and just comment to let me know if you guys like it or if you like my other background a little bit better. Um, just let me know. I just thought I would try a little different scenery for this video and this video is going to be my January favorite or no not January February favorite so I guess I'll just jump into it since I have so much stuff to show you guys and I hope you enjoy so we'll start with makeup first because I have an awful lot of makeup products that I have been loving throughout the month of February okay so I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff first thing I have been loving sadly the little name tag or the where the name is like completely rubbed off but if you guys don't recognize this this is Revlon's new nearly naked foundation and I did a first impression on this so I'll have that link down below if you guys want to see my first impression review trying it out for the first time I'll have it down below if you haven't seen it yet and basically my thoughts on it still stand today. I've been using it for a few weeks now and I absolutely love it. It gives the most flawless finish. It stays on my face all day long. Um, the shade is perfect and I have been going burning through this like crazy so I already know when I'm gonna run out of this I'm gonna go buy like 50 backups because I absolutely love it so much. I've been loving that and then to go along with that have been two concealers that I've tried and I found these concealers through Miss Glamorazzi or Ingrid on YouTube so thank you Ingrid for recommending these and these are the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch um, concealers so they're basically like highlighting concealers and I have two shades one is in radiant and one is in ivory and I like to mix these and put them under my eye and I'll kind of apply it in like a triangle zone so under my eye and then I'll like sweep it out like a triangle sort of so I love these and I love mixing them and I love wearing it with my nearly naked foundation it's like my favorite combo and it's drugstore and I've heard that they are compared to the YSL Touche Clant. I think that's what they're called, the concealers. So I'm not sure about that but they work amazing and I absolutely love them. Alrighty, so to set my foundation I have tried this for the past week or so and have been loving it. I found this at Nordstrom Rack and it was like 50% off the original price. And this is the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control and Makeup Setting Spray. And I, of course, had to get the extra large too because it was only like $2 more than the regular size one. So I picked this up and I've been loving this. What I like to do is I'll spray this like four or five times on my face when I have no makeup on, right when I'm about to apply my foundation. And then after I'm completely finished with all my makeup, um, I will go back with another like four or five sprays and it just sets in my makeup flawlessly and controls my oil, which is good because I get oily around my T-zone, so I would definitely recommend this. Okay, moving on to lippy products. I have a lot of lip products that I've tried. I'm trying to make sure that I didn't miss any, but I have four new lip products to share with you guys that I've been loving throughout the month of February and that they're actually all new. All of these I got throughout the month of February, which is pretty rare. Yeah, I've tried out a lot of makeup this month, and um, I guess I'll start with lip... Oh! Pissed out. Okay, so I guess I'll start with lipsticks, and I'll start with this one. This one has been my absolute... F the, the True life, I have a stuttering problem. Benzo. And my stomach hurts because of this damn caramel macchiato. Shiz, that's the last time I get a venti. So this is Max Candy Yum Yum, and it's a matte lipstick, and I found this through another YouTuber. Her name's Nicole Guerrero? Guerrera? Oh gosh, I can't even pronounce her username, but I'll have her channel linked down below. You guys probably know who I'm talking about if you watch beauty videos. And it's the most gorgeous pink color. I'm wearing it right now. You guys know how I feel about my, like, pop of lip color. I'm obsessed with bright lips. I'm trying um, crazy lip colors out. Okay, so that's that. And then the next thing has, has to be my L'Oreal Color Rouge Lip Balm. I, I don't know, lipstick, lip balm, lip stain, I don't really know. But it's a really pretty lip color and I got the shade Blushing Sequin 172. And I love the packaging. I think it's really pretty. And the lipstick is just amazing. And it feels so soothing on the lips. It feels like a lip balm. So I absolutely love this. I love the color. It's just like a pretty 
pretty pop of color pink and it's nice if you don't want to wear a lipstick but you kind of want like a tinted lip balm that's kind of how it feels um, but it's super pigmented and I'm just in love and I want to go pick up more shades of this because I love it okay next thing is some text message Goal! I'm so done! <laughs> Look what Juan just sent me! Oh my god! I am so done! It is a damn pig on wheelchairs! I am done. I need it. <laughs> the stuff that Juan sends me. Gotta love it. Okay, so anyways, like I was saying, um, Juan, this next favorite Juan actually got me for my late Christmas present when I went to go visit him. And this is Maybelline's new Vivid Lipsticks. This is in the shade Shocking Coral, and it's actually very similar to the L'Oreal Lip um, Color Rouge Lip Balm that I showed you guys previously, but more of a lipstick form and a lot more um, pigmented and lipsticky, but very hydrating. And like the name, Vivid, it's very bright and I love it. It's me in lipstick form, and you guys know I just love my lipstick, so I've been loving wearing this. I'll move on to um, eyes, some eye stuff that I've been discovering. And once again, all of these products I've gotten in February, which is pretty cool. So, first thing I've been loving is another thing that Juan got me, my Naked Basics palette. Ah, sent from Jesus. I am obsessed with this palette. And basically, Urban Decay, thank you, kudos to Urban Decay, it took them, what, like three years finally to come out with a palette that's pretty much all matte eyeshadows. Can't open it. Okay. So it pretty much has all matte eyeshadows except for one, which is Venus, and it comes with six shades, so five of them are matte, and then this one is a shimmery highlighter color, which is fine because... The rest are matte and it's just a perfect palette and if you guys wear neutrals and you like um, like neutral eyes and matte shadows, this palette is totally worth it. I'm obsessed. I love it. It's my go-to palette and I love how travel friendly it is. So many things you can do with this palette. It's amazing. I love it and I'm obsessed. I love matte eyeshadows so thank you Urban Decay for finally coming out with a matte palette. Okay, next favorite I've been loving is a base, and this is from... I'm out of breath. This is Maybelline's new eyeshadow that they came out with from their Metal Collection. This is their 24-hour uh, Maybelline Color Tattoos. And I just picked up one shade, a shade that I didn't really have, and I thought that was unique. And this is Inked and Pinked... Ink... Inked and Pink. There we go. And it's basically just a creamy, petally rosy pink color and it's great for a base. It's great just to swipe on your lids if you're going for a natural quick look. I absolutely love it and it's just a nice fun base to have because I don't have any like pinky shimmery toned bases so I love that. Okay next eye product is a mascara and it's the new Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. Absolutely love this mascara. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it does wonders for my lashes. It volumizes and lengthens, which is two things that I look for. Two. Which is two things that I look for in a mascara because I like both volume and length. So I, like my, I like my lashes to look like I'm wearing false lashes even when I'm not. So I love this. To the moon and back, my favorite mascara of all times right now. However, if I'm feeling like I'm wanting to go a little crazy that day, another favorite of mine has been false lashes. Ever since I did my Valentine's Day getting ready tutorial video, um, I purchased a few false lashes from Ulta um, from the brand Ardell, which I love their false lashes. So my favorite ones that I've been wearing kind of a little bit more often that than you probably should, but I just love false lashes and I'm wearing them like a lot like almost every day I'm feeling like putting false lashes on and my favorite pair that I picked up I picked up a few but these hands down are my favorite these are the 120 demi lashes just falsies in general I've been loving and I would definitely recommend 
the um, Ardell brand of false lashes. Okay, so moving on to hair products, there's only one hair product that I've been loving throughout the month of February, and that is my KQC straightener that I finally decided to branch out because I've had my Chi straightener for like three years now, and I still love it. I'm not going to throw it away or anything, but I was like, it is time for a new straightener. So I picked this one up off of flatironexperts.com, which is where I get a ton of stuff. I get my macadamia oil products there, and there's other heat tools that I've gotten um, from that website because I love that website. The price is amazing. They sell brand name like hot like styling tools and hair products um, at a much discounted price if like you were go going to the store or ordering them off their own brand websites. Definitely would recommend KQ, or um, not KQC, flatironexperts.com. So this is just a product I've been loving, especially now that I got bangs. Um, you guys know I got my full bangs, which I know a lot of you guys don't like, but I thought they're they're fun. They're just something different. And I have to straighten my bangs almost every day when I style my hair. So this has been my go-to straightener, and I straighten it today, and it makes my hair so smooth and straight, but without making it feel fried or frizzy or like rough it's just amazing so I'm sorry my little chi has been retired for now my chi straightener and I've been loving this little KQC one so finally that is it for all the products that I <laughs> that I'm showing you guys this video is gonna be so long already I can tell um, but last thing I wanted to talk about before I end this video is my favorite youtuber of the month and I'm really excited to talk about her I've been wanting to talk about her videos ever since I found her on YouTube and she started. And it's a new beauty guru that we have. So welcome to the community. Her name is Kelsey and her username is K K's for Kelsey, I believe. Yeah, her username is K's for Kelsey. I will have her link down below. And so far she's just done like hauls and fashion videos and I love your sense of style. Like Kelsey, your sense of style and how you pair pieces is amazing. Like she has the cutest style um, and she's just the cutest. So definitely go show her some love, subscribe, tell her that that Missy Girl 7 sent you and um, just show her some love and like her videos and watch them. I enjoy them a lot. And the reason why I know her is because me and her actually went to high school together, which is just so crazy. So to think that, oh, shiz. So, <laughs> I can't even talk. So anyways, yeah, we went to high school together and we didn't really talk in high school. I don't even, we, I think we knew of each other. But anyways, that's besides the point. I think it's really cool that um, we both do videos. So yeah, I'll have her link down below and go subscribe to her. Anyways, okay, I'll see you guys very soon in my next video and thank you for watching. Bye everyone.